Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the remainder of August 2020. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal reading, be sure to email me first because I'm not sure that I'll be um, doing readings for... Uh, this weekend or next weekend. I just want to be sure first, so um, just check. All right, so we have the central issue, Heart of the Matter, as the Four of Cups. We've got the uh, Page of Pentacles, the Moon, the Sun, the Fool, Death, Ten, I'm sorry, the Will, and Nine of Cups. Okay, so you guys seem as if you are not really ready to talk about something or you're not ready to open up. Um, you may still be holding on to some sort of emotional trauma. Could have been caused by an earth sign, uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, but it looks like you are... <sighs> Just kind of, you've got some walls up. Now, I also feel that there's someone that you still care about, uh, which also could be why, if you're single, why you're not really ready to open up and, and talk to other people. Um, so especially if this person was an earth sign, you might still be holding on to that person. Um, it seems too like there was some sort of connection going on where someone maybe triggered your abandonment or trust issues. I feel like there's someone that you have anxiety about because they they expose your insecurities or your vulnerabilities. This also could go the other way around. This might be how um, you make someone feel I feel that if you're single, it's like you're not really ready to start dating. Um, if you're in a relationship, you might feel like it's a dead end or that it's over or it needs to end. It's like you're wanting to be left alone. Maybe there's a, an emotional disconnect. Um, it looks like you just want to be free you want something to end and it may go uh, be getting ready to like you may be getting ready to walk out of a relationship and if you do go through a breakup you really look happy about it it looks like you're glad if you're wondering how someone feels about a breakup they're glad um i just feel like someone is like i don't want any strings attached or i'm just i just need to be by myself and um somebody is going through some sort of metamorphosis or some sort of changes. I really feel like you are the one wanting to be left alone and undergoing some sort of changes. And then, you know, all the this whole first roll too is just about being alone. Again, nine of cups, you look happy. You're glad. You're just like, I'm good. Um, I'm pretty much content. If you were emotional in the past I feel like you're going to move on from that and I feel like now you're in a better place there's some sort of changes maybe at first you were depressed or sad about something but I feel like now things are changing or the tables are turning and now you're in a position where you feel just fine by yourself um <clears throat> I do feel like there's someone that used to make you happy, but maybe that's something that ended a long time ago. I also feel like there's going to be a breakthrough. It's possible that if you have been guarded with someone, that at some point there's going to be a breakthrough and, you know, there, there will be communication again, like someone wants to start over, but they might want to start over as friends. All right, so let me look at the death card here.
I feel like this is about cutting off communication. You could have been talking to an air sign or a water sign. And maybe, or, you know, you cut, cut off communication from one of these two energies or both of these energies. And see, I'm also seeing it though as if first someone was being guarded or closed off and wanting to be left alone and then the distance comes to an end and there's gonna be communication again. Someone's going to want to start over but not until they feel better or not until they've healed. Hmm. I feel like something's also getting ready to happen in like soon as we enter Virgo season. Let me look at this Nine of Cups because you seem pretty content with the way something is playing out. Something is destined to come to an end. Some of you could have felt betrayed by an air sign or maybe you feel like um, an air sign betrayed or, or you betrayed an air sign or maybe an air sign feels like you betrayed them. Mm. I see someone who has uh, mood swings. Someone um, is coming out of the dark night of the soul. Someone had to undergo something deep and transformative. And once this person comes out of that, they're going to be a much better person. So I don't know if this is you or someone that's coming towards you. But someone's been going through it. You guys might be trying to keep yourself busy and preoccupied um, so that you don't have to think about your soulmate or someone who you feel is your soulmate. I feel like someone's also trying to get your attention or reaching out to you. It could be a coworker, but I feel like you don't want to talk to this person or you're avoiding communication. Someone's reaching out to you. I feel like you don't really want to be bothered. I feel like you're the one ignoring someone's um, someone's uh, cup. You're ignoring it. Mm. Hmm. I feel too like you guys are going to be focused on um, your finances and it looks like you're trying to put things into perspective when it comes to love you are kind of taking on some sort of attitude of whatever is meant to happen will happen and you're you're trying not to put so much time and energy into how something's gonna turn out or play out you're like I'm just gonna let things be for now so you are having to have patience with your situation or yourself. If you were in a relationship, I feel like it's something that either you guys are going to decide to put the hard work in to make it last, or you're going to decide to just go your separate ways. It could go either way. Um, hmm. I don't know too if some of you are have been wanting to have children. It seems like there's someone around you who is like your ideal companion, but I don't know, it's kind of like you're getting a reality check. Maybe this person is already in a in a relationship, so all you do is fantasize about them or daydream about them. I see something about a nightmare.
Some of you guys also have been ignoring your um, spirit guides. I feel like someone um, crossed over. Um, this is and this is something that already happened. I feel like somebody crossed over and there you think about this person or maybe this person has been leaving out clues that they've been thinking about you. So if you've been seeing um, paranormal activity in the home, I feel like that's this ways uh, this person's way of communicating with you, letting you know that they're good or they're just saying hello or they're happy. I also hear something about your time will come. So Ten of Cups looks like you've been working out karma and dreams. There's somebody that you've been dreaming about because you're unable to be with them in person. So the karma is just working out um, metaphysically. I also feel that there's something like you're guarded towards someone, you're afraid, you're afraid of what's going to happen. I feel like you're having, um, your imagination might run wild sometimes. Some of you are very guarded in regards to an earth sign. I feel like there's an earth sign who follows you. Um, and I feel like this earth, earth sign tries to get your attention sometimes, but there might be a lack of trust or you are not, you might be want, wanting to be left alone. I don't know if this earth sign has abandoned you or hurt you in some way. If not in this life, then it must have happened in a previous life because it looks like you're not wanting to uh, face the truth or face the reality in regards to an earth sign. Someone also lacks confidence or suffers from some sort of depression or mood swings, depression, anxiety. Hmm. Yeah, but for the most part, I feel like either an earth sign is your ideal person or they view you that way. But there's a lot of anxiety. Yeah. Some of you are debating about what you should do in regards to a situation. If you're already in a relationship, I don't know what it is that you're debating about. It feels like if you're married, you're debating about getting a divorce or staying together or just taking a separation. Uh, also could be debating about taking someone to court in regards to maybe uh, child custody or any type of legal matters. For some of you, you're needing to be patient with someone's decision. Someone wants you to be patient with them. And sometimes it just seems like you're like, I don't wanna be patient. I don't wanna wait for this person. Why should I have to wait? So your patience may be running thin with someone. Yeah, so those are the messages uh, for August. Hopefully something will resonate with you. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.